I don't think you even remember the night the three of us fell apart. In the bathroom of someone we don't know as well as each other. Before I fell to the floor because my lungs could not accommodate the amount of air I was forcing myself to take in. I thought of this. My memories of childhood are like videotapes, wrinkled and faded like the clarity of the images, watching back dimmed playgrounds and incandescent spelling mistakes. Rusty swings and rickety bridges are somewhat renowned. I remember you from this lifetime, an unfortunate haircut and scabby knees. Games of hide and seek and dirt and grime fill my head, but what you can't see is what matured, modelled and modified you in my mind was when you took makeup to your cheek, and the life of crushing boys I had intertwined with you was shattered so far my sticky fingers could not reach. I cannot make hugging a toilet bowl sound beautiful. No matter how much I line it with black and fluff it out with a brush, it will seep through the cracks in your detrimented soul as you feel the pull of an adult life littered with rush. And as the fractures flow over with jet black licorice, the muses of ignorant sweet confectionery bow away to alcohol, because you are Icarus. In a bid to be happy, your safety becomes secondary. Too much or too little, and you are sad. I look away from a scene that is commonly known amongst those who are losing themselves, and I realise the three of us are shattered, like the mirror in which I catch your eye. Tears stream away from them like the things that always mattered, the things that condemn me and you to happiness. I remember you too. Maybe you were a little shorter and you used to sleep more often. You did not look like a porter had rolled away the things that soften the blows of growing up. I know that any other day I could have stopped you from crying because helping people comes as easy to me as lying to myself. I remember when we could sit on a bench in a park and it wouldn't be to pick apart the shattered mirror from the pale skin of your hands. I am so sorry. I am sorry I cannot stitch you back together anymore.